It's the second round of matches in Group C today as Thailand look for their first points against the Morocco side, buoyed by their big win over the Solomon Islands here in Kaunas three days ago. Another win would put them into round 16 with a game to spare. So Portugal, with a big win just a few moments ago, go on to six points at the top of the table. Morocco on three, Thailand and the Solomon Islands both looking for their first points. A win for Thailand would leave the group nicely poised going into the final round of matches. We've barely had time to draw breath here before the flags are making their way back out for the second game. And Morocco, who were so impressive in their opening game, these sides are ranked 18th and 17th in the FIFA rankings, respectively. So expect a close game. Thailand have aspirations of getting through to the quarterfinals this year, a feat that they've never managed to do before. Please welcome our Morocco, as we say, put six past the Solomon Islands without reply to record their first ever FIFA Futsal in World in Cup win. So here come our match officials. Leading the teams out, we'll tell you who they are in just a moment or two's time. Two referees, a third referee and the timekeeper. We have had a couple of video support decisions as well, which we've got this year at the FIFA World Futsal World Cup for the first time. Now the two teams will be introduced to the crowd. There's Kritsada, the captain. The veteran, the man who's won lots of domestic honours with Chonburi Blue Wave. Very influential player, Kritsada Wonkyo. And now the rest of the players will follow very quickly. Kanison Pupan is the well, one of the goalkeepers in the side. Jirawat, who scored in that opening game against Portugal, wearing number six. Superwat, Tianklang. It is the same starting five, by the way, for Thailand. We'll get the team sheets officially in just a moment, but coach Rakpol going with the same players that began the game. Nine available off the bench, of course. of absentees in the team for them today, Arrow and Chiavat. Here come the Moroccans. Both these teams staying just down the road from here. Saw the Moroccans out in town having a wander around yesterday. Substitute goalkeeper there, Abdel Karim and Bia. Aras Alayen. Going through there. So six goals in their opening game. Six different goal scorers as well. So they've got plenty of goals running through their ranks. Safane El Mezra is one of the experienced men in the team. Bilal Bakali also got on the score sheet in that first game against the Solomon Islands. Rida Kiari will be the starting goalkeeper tonight and the final man to come out, Khalid Buzid. So the team's just completing their lineups in front of the stands here. And we'll have the national anthems, Thailand and Morocco.
So stirring version for the Moroccans right at the end of their national anthem. And here are the starting fives. As I say, Tyler with the same five that started their opening game against Portugal. Superwatt and Apawat were key figures in that opening game, although they were frustrating Portugal for long periods of time and then nine players available off the bench. Runachai is the only player on a yellow card. Jetsada had plenty of game time in that first match as well. He's now in and then Pirapat brings up the final member of the squad for Rakpol's side. Morocco make a couple of changes in their starting five. It's the same goalkeeper. El Mesra and Bakali also remain. And then again, there are nine players on the bench. Ashraf Saud scored in that first game. Sufan Barit also got on the score sheet as they went goal crazy in that first game against the Solomon Islands. Mix of experience and youth. Rassel Fenny was also on the mark, and Khalid Buzid makes up their squad. So referees Irina Velikanova from the RFU, the Russian Football Union. Chris Sinclair's from New Zealand. Andre Cherny from the Czech Republic is the third referee. And Galeray Nazemi from Iran is the timekeeper. So 20 minutes each way. Clock stops every time the ball goes out of play, don't forget, we will get a full 20 minutes, the, the beauty of futsal. Rakpol, sent again is the Thailand coach. And Hisham Goig, his opposite number, looking to book Morocco a place in the round of 16 of a FIFA Futsal World Cup for the first time. Katawut was superb against Portugal, kept them at bay on several occasions in that first match. Did concede four goals in that opening match, of course, but did make plenty of saves as well at the same time. Will be Thailand that will get us underway in the dark blue. Did take the lead in that match against Portugal as well. Jurawat with the opening goal. Okay, are you ready for a counter? Seven, 
So we're underway then. Thailand kicking from left to right in the first period. Victory here would leave them in with a chance of going through if they can get something out of their last game. Who knows, three points might be enough as one of the third place teams. Morocco will be keen to keep their run going, having performed so well in their first game. Tussle in the corner with Bacali. First save of the game made by Chiari. Kritsada. Captain, he's been an international for a long time now, Kritsada. just allowing the ball to roll under his foot. <laughs> 76 caps across a 12-year international career, Kritsada. Shows how experienced he's been for Thailand over the years. It's him on the ball again. Coach took charge of the Continental Futsal Championships earlier on this year, replacing the Spanish coach Pulpis, that he'd worked under for a number of years. Rackpol. Jurawat. Apiwat. Supawat. To Morocco, too, have got some experience in their starting lineup. Six of the squad played in Colombia. Yusuf El Masre and Sufain El Mezra played in 2012 as well in Thailand. Bakali, and Juan, and he's just come on. Both sides utilised eight of their nine substitutes in the first match. Slightly bigger squads, of course, for this event, 16 rather than 14. Almost given away by Bacali. That's a little back heel for El Mizra, who hits the foot of the post. Nicely played into him by Lelayan. Back across the goalkeeper and just skidding the foot of that post. A good start to the game. Bacali. El Mesra. El Mesra was on the mark in the first match against the Solomon Islands. Here's Warrett. Mohammed. Good ball forward for Warrett who goes down in the penalty area, Chiari came out feet first. Thailand corner. I expect this game to be played at a a good pace. Thailand may be surprised Portugal a little bit with the way they played the ball around. So they are ranked 18th in the world, just one behind the Moroccans. Third appearance in a row out of finals for Morocco. They are the reigning African champions, having defended their title in 2020.
Katuan. Good running off the ball by Mohamed. Took a deflection off Warrett, and, or from Warrett rather. Probably through to the goalkeeper. Put in possession again, now in. Fennec. Juad. El Mesra. Nicely fed through to Juad. Couldn't bring the ball under control though. Moroccan showed in that first game their movement off the ball was very good. all the way through this the ninth edition of the FIFA Futsal World Cup Morocco been in three of them Bishop Goig there says hard work is the key to their continental success he put a plan together for four years between 2015 and 2019 it certainly paid dividends for them Just stayed in play. Goalkeepers come out and slid out well. Catterwood. Still nil nil. Almost five minutes gone in the opening period. But Cali. Marcel Fenny. Now Bacali. Juad. Be a foul against Runner Chai. First accumulated foul against Thailand. Five fouls and the second penalty mark at 10 metres gets called into action. Haven't seen that as yet here. Another foul by Mohammed. Fennec, nicely done. Good footwork, good speed as well, but he's headed out wide. Bumuz, Burit, just blocked off by Superwat. Kutsada, Superwat. Nice ball over the top, looking for. Superwat, it was Bumu's the covering defender. It's a miss hit shot from Apuat. Spins behind for the corner. Taken low, Barit with it. The clearance away. Kicking, 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 kicking. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Three. You can hear him in the background saying kicking. Wasn't a kick. It was a kicking from another corner. It's another shot that bounces goalwards from Jirawat. Well defended again by Morocco. Bumus. Rassel Fenny. Bumus covering plenty of ground at the moment. Now Jirawat. Putting Rassel Fenny under pressure. Barit. Nice. Oh, 
wide. So Morocco had lost all six of their previous six games before coming here to Lithuania. Certainly been a vast improvement in the, the style of play and the way that they've played over five years since Colombia. They do have five players that play outside Morocco, which helps Hisham Goig send a little bit more quality into his team. Apua. Sada. Just losing their way a little bit there. Thailand inside their own half. It was just out of the reach of Apua. That's all Fennec. Sada completely misses his kick, Bari just helped it on. Good move this from Morocco, a chance for Bari. Cleared away in front of goal and well, Apuatu spotted the goalkeeper just ahead of his line, decided to go for goal. He would have done well to hit the target from there, but just disappeared. Thailand did, of course, have to come through a, a two-legged playoff. They were pitted against Iraq. They won it 11-2 over two legs. It was a, a format or a formula rather that the AFC decided to use in the absence of a qualifying tournament because of COVID. So it's based on previous performances in the AFC Futsal Championships and the most recent. Big wins there. They had big wins over Oman and Chile in two friendly matches as well coming into this. 13 goals scored and just one conceded Thailand. Chai again with a shot from just inside the Morocco half. Morocco, of course, will be aware that they've got to go to Klaipeda to play Portugal in their final game. Thailand will play the Solomon Islands. That's a good block by Buzid, who was half on the ground when he played that one away. Good interception. There's another corner, though, which will be taken by Nowin. Pushed away by the goalkeeper, no one able to get a touch in front of goal to get a shot on target. One shot on target so far in the opening eight minutes or so. <laughs> Run a shy forward to Mohammed. Given away to Buzian. Goalkeeper very nearly stepped out of his penalty area with the ball there. Katawut has to release it within four seconds once he has the ball under control, the goalkeeper. Warrett.
for Kelly. Warrett. Wanachai had a good game in that first game. He did pick up a, a yellow card. He's the only player in danger of missing the final group game if you were to be booked for a second time tonight. LAN. McCalley. And are the lowest of the three ranked the three other Asian team or the other two Asian teams rather behind Iran and Japan. They're the third ranked team in the AFC region. Morocco, one of three African teams here. Egypt, their big rivals are here, and Angola making up the World Cup debut. They were involved in the high scoring game overall so far, an 8 4 defeat to Japan in their opening match. It's Kutsada under pressure, just opting to play the ball out. He's the man with the experience. I believe his side can make history by at least getting to the quarter-finals, Kutsada. Kicking for Morocco. Right. Blocked by Jirawat. Alayen <laughs> again, seeing plenty of the ball, could get that one back across goal. Too many shots on goal so far. Just ten in the opening. Ten and just over ten minutes. Thailand have given two fouls away, as you saw a moment or so ago. Two of the five that they are allowed. Jurawat, now Apuwat. Given away to LIN. Kali with the Morocco kick in. Prior to today, we'd had 106 goals in 16 matches over the first four days. 6.62 goals per game. Oh, that's Katawatu has just been caught on the head by Alayan, who left his foot in. It's brave goalkeeping. Alayan was in full flight. And they just caught him on the side of the head. Couldn't quite reach the ball through. There was a, a nasty bang to the side of the head. Alayan. Frustration on the bench, they thought that should have scored that. Goalkeeper just managed to get there first. Hisham Goig, who said before the tournament he believed the reason that Morocco had never won a game at a World Cup was because they hadn't had a Champions League in the CAF region. 
Cup of Nations only takes place every four years over there. There's the whack on the head for Catawut again. A little bit groggy at the moment, Catawut. Can't be too careful with head injuries, of course, these days in sports, so they certainly won't take any chances. But we are going to see a, a brief change here. It'll be Canison that's going to come on, I think, just while Catawut just takes a moment. So Canison, who played in Colombia in 2016, is another experienced goalkeeper. Coming on. down the line with Warasak. Katowicz ready to come back on, I think. I'll wait till this attack is over. Bakali with the, the kick in. Juad. Oh, Mesra. Alayan. Mesra, Bakali. Good defending from Thailand. It's very similar to the way they played in the first game. Shuad oh, just took his eye off the ball slightly. And now the goalkeepers will change. Katawut comes back on. Jirawat. Keeping the ball nicely at the moment, Thailand. They have had slightly more of the ball than their opponents in the first period so far. It's wayward from Warasak, so back on defensive duty now, Thailand. Driven in low, takes a deflection from the corner. Corner, Reds, corner, corner, excellent. Come on, from just in front of goal from Jouad. <laughs> Thailand. So, might just give Katawata a couple more minutes to get a, a bit of ice on that head injury from a minute or so ago. Like Paul said he'd studied under the previous coach Pulpis for 10 years. Like to play their own style of play. They call it Thai style, apparently. Well, they managed to frustrate both Portugal and Morocco. So both coaches have had a, a minute to get some instructions across. Hisham Goyke was involved in a, a car accident ahead of the appearance in Thailand in 2012. 
Suffered a spine injury as well. Didn't know if he'd ever be able to walk again, Hisham Goig. It was a nervous time for him, and they weren't really that well prepared going into that event. This is why I think they're putting so much store on their performance here in Lithuania. Seven minutes to go in the opening period. Bakali. El Mesra. Rassel Fene. El Mesra. Just wide with the aid of a deflection. Kelly, and Sal Fennig. Morocco starting to see more of the ball at the moment. They've dominated possession in the last few minutes. They haven't really created any chances, though. El Mesra, Bakali. Nice it again. Just over hit by Bakali. Ball running out of play again. What a lot of goalkeepers like to do, coming out of the area, getting a shot in. Thailand much more experienced in terms of their participation in so World Cups. This is their sixth appearance. It'll be a foul by. Warrett, and it's going to be a yellow card as well for Warrett, one of the players in the Thailand team who's actually a free agent at the moment. Warrett, so... They've got six free agents in their squad, so lots of players playing for a potential place at a club next season if they can put in a good performance here in Lithuania. their third foul as well. More importantly, a free kick for Morocco as they look for the opening goal of the game. Still goalless between these two. 18th and 17th in the FIFA rankings. Boumazou. Defending again, Apuat went to ground, but kept his arms out of the way. So kick into Morocco. Rumus can't keep the ball in play this time. Playing to the netting behind Katowitz's goal. Sada, run a chai. Good challenge from Buizan. Oh, he's won the ball back here, Bumus. And the referee deems that's a foul right in front of the official on this near side. Second Moroccan foul. Warrett was the man that was bundled in the back, the man that was booked a moment or so ago. He's on the ball again. Runner Chai. Now in. Runner Chai. Foul by Runner Chai. This time, so a fourth foul against Thailand with 5.13 to go in the opening period. Yeah, 
Marcel Fenny. Burrit. It's the first time we've seen Burrit, another one of the goal scorers from that opening game against the Solomon Islands. through onto the head of Rassel Fennec. Good take by Catterwood. Just a little bit too eager to let the ball go. It's handed it straight back to Morocco. One ball from Chiari down to Barik. Once again gathered by Catterwood. Ritsada. Well, give it away, and another chance, Superwak giving the ball away, and Bumu's unable to capitalise, good save. Katawut. Doesn't seem any worse for that bang on the head earlier on in the half, giving away to Kritsada. Jurawat. Just pressing and harrying and harassing at the moment, Morocco. Making those little unforced errors from Thailand. Bakali. Burit. So that is the fifth accumulated foul from Thailand in this first half so they need to make sure that they don't concede any more otherwise it will be a kick from the second penalty mark for Morocco very quick with their movement the Moroccans that's why it's very difficult for Thailand to try and challenge without fouling El Mesra Rassel Fenny, good save again, Catawut. He made five great saves in the first half against Portugal in the opening match. That's the best one he's made here so far. It's only Morocco's fourth shot on target. Barit's gone down in a, an off-the-ball incident here with Mohamed. Last thing we want is for the game to get a little bit niggly. And they're all okay again now. No further action taken, it will be a, a corner. Mesra can't get the shot on goal. Ronachai, Kutsada. Forward by Apuat again, but hurried by the Moroccans. Tyler not really getting much time on the ball, having to hurry their clearances. That's going to run through for a Thailand kick in right in the corner. Super what? Mohamed just ran away from him slightly. Bakali, 3.40 to go in the opening period, still no goals. 
Expected a tight encounter between these two, and that's what it's turning out to be at the moment. LAN. Off Superwat. Now there might be a break on here for Mohamed. Jirawat. Nicely done. Good save. Superwat denied by Kiari. Best move of the game from Thailand so far. And Kiari called into action really for the first time. Same for the top corner from Superwat. Good stop by the goalkeeper. And on the volley, somehow just deflects wide. Another quickly taken corner, big appeals for handball. And a second handball as well. well there might well have been a handball in the build-up to that. I don't think he was inside the penalty area. Well, they are going to check. I think they want to check here. I think they want support to check this, whether that handball was inside the penalty area. So it is going to be a check for a potential handball here by Thailand. It just took them a little bit of a while to get their head around the challenge. So our officials will come across to have a look. Now, did this strike an arm inside the penalty area? Oh, it's outside the penalty area. Well, I don't think he's hit the arm anyway. Might need to look at that from another angle. It doesn't look like it struck the arm from, from that sort of angle. You might see better from here, perhaps. The arm's trying to come out of the way. I don't think they're convinced. We had one yesterday where the ball was a judge not to across the line. Challenge lost from Thailand. So play continues with a kick in. It's often some confusion. The, the signal to initiate video support, by the way, is to twirl the finger in the air. Some coaches continue to, to draw the monitor. Slightly different to normal football, of course, where there's no challenge system at the moment. Mohamed, still going. Jirawat, just blocked in front of goal by Bakali. And then fired over the top by Kritsada. Under three minutes to go in the first period. Break on here for Juad. Here's a great chance for Morocco. Save. Second time of asking. Morocco have scored. Jaoud denied the first time, but not the second. Nothing that Jirawat could do on the line to keep the ball out. And Morocco take the lead just before half-time. Show gets his first goal of this FIFA Futsal World Cup. It was another good save by Katawood. Jirawat was just trying to keep his arms out of the way on the line, I think. But Morocco have finally taken the lead. Well, everybody seems quite excited, except the coach, Hisham Goig. So, Thailand trailing. Superwa. Kutsada. Need a bit of mopping up doing on court again. And he'll be disappointed. He sided pretty much match Morocco for the first 18 minutes before Xu had opened the scoring. El Mesra. Bakali. Juad. Bakali. 
do that again, just trying to help it on. It was kneed away by Mohamed. And a play by Ronachai. It's a strong finish to the period for Morocco. win for Morocco would put them through of course it would leave Thailand needing to beat the Solomon Islands and hope that would be enough to be one of the best third place teams don't want to take the risk though they want to try and get something out of this game El Mesra Juad El Mesra can't keep the ball in play Now it. 90 seconds to go in the first period. Runner Chai goes out of Juad. Now it. Wide of the target again. Slice that one away. Juad. Bakali. Juad, the man whose goal separates the team, so measure it. She went again, nice touch. Warrant back to Katawa. Jetsada. Shuad. Inside the final minute. Morocco still in possession. Shuad. Bakali. Thailand kicking then right at the end of the first half. Now it. Warrant. Maybe a foul by Juad. The goal scorer penalised. Nudge in the back. Thailand just trying to make a little bit more out of that than there actually was. It was just a nudge on Warrant. Five to three, the fouls count. Thailand are going to get away with the five. We're inside the last 20 seconds. Wasteful ball from Nowin. Bakali. El Mesra. Rassel Fene. Going to get time to get a shot in here. Morocco flipped over the top by Bacali. And Mesra couldn't get onto the ball. And the whistle goes, or the hooter goes rather, plus the whistle for the end of the first period. A very tight first half between these two. Hisham Goig side just getting themselves in front. It was Yasef, Yusef Jaud that scored the goal after 18 minutes. Half time, it's Thailand nil, Morocco one. Don't run. As El Mesra adds the experience into this Morocco side. It was a good half for him as well. 
Lots of work to do there. They've still got another 20 minutes to keep Thailand at bay. And have watched their opening game. They'll be well aware of how much Thailand have improved, as have Morocco over the years. First half stats, then 57% of the ball going to Morocco, 16 shots. Not too far behind Thailand. They have only had two on target, though. Katawut made five save against Kiaris, two. Five corners to four. And the five fouls conceded by Thailand and just one yellow card for Warra. Confirmation of the goal scorer, Youssef Jaud. Just two minutes before the end of that first half. Thailand just couldn't keep Morocco at bay in the end. Extraordinary defines what goes beyond the norm. And the way to get there is far from ordinary. You must leave nothing untried to reach further. Make things better and bring the future closer to today. The broadest family of electrified SUVs is here. On to better. We've been awarded the world's best airline of 2021, but it's more than an award for being the only global airline to continue through the pandemic, and for all the hours of hard work we dedicated to making your experience exceptional, and flying the youngest, greenest fleet in America. Well, Morocco knew that a victory over Thailand would put them into the round of 16 and into the knockout stages for the first time in a FIFA Futsal World Cup. Thailand needed three points to make sure they could live up to their dream of hoping to make the quarter-finals this year. Morocco had a big win over the Solomon Islands on the opening day, but this was a much tighter affair between the sides, 18th and 17th, respectively. El Mesra stripped the foot of the post with Katawut at full stretch, couldn't quite get a hand on it. That was the closest Morocco came to a goal in the early stages of the game. They kept pressing, and Alayan just caught Katawut a painful blow on the side of the head. He managed to dive in at the feet of the... Moroccan attacker had to have a couple of minutes out. He was soon back on the field though. Morocco started to grow into the game a little bit more. They had more possession, they had more shots in the first period. El Mesra, the experienced man in midfield, adding the, the spark. That was Bumus, another save by Katawut, who was excellent in that opening game and having to be the same here as well. Just couldn't find a way through. Rassel Fenny, who'd scored in the opening game, denied a, a second goal of this tournament by the goalkeeper again at full stretch. Thailand's best move of the game saw a brilliant save from Kiari to deny Sukhawat at the other end. Two fingertip save over the top to concede the corner. Morocco were playing some lovely stuff and they did eventually take the lead at the second time of asking Youssef Jaud as the ball came back off Katawut. And Zhao got his first goal of the World Cup. Goalkeeper, no having any luck that time. Good finish from Zhao, though, to get the goal and put Morocco in front. Nothing that Jirawat could do on the line at half-time as Morocco lead by a goal to nil. Reiškia, darom taip, 
Denskiam prasideda. Taigi pasitikime mūsų tarsmanai vartyto ir pats laikas normaliai pašokti. Let's meet your Tito and this is Dance Camp. Definitely with Morocco fans. Ava! Gerai, Vartyto, ieško sirgalių, kurie moka šokti.
game recap and we have the one and the only goal scored by Morocco player Zuat. So happy, happy Morocco, happy fans. Have one goal, Morocco one, Thailand zero. Thank you very much, Olga. We didn't really see what this goal has been in the first place. И вручают Торюс Жуа из Марокко. И результату Вена снулис Прехия Мароккас. Ну, а теперь посижу время Касполай, какие команды. Туриме и Сяйшки, где еще не испряста Клаусима. Now we have a question. Who supports which team? Who is for Thailand? Not many people, but they are so loud. Okay, are you ready? Who supports Morocco? Yes. Okay. In a few moments, second half. Morocco. Just one goal in the game here Thailand in Kaunas. Morocco Thailand. scoring just before the end of the first period through Jaud. It was a, a fairly even first period as well. Thailand couldn't find a way through. Their one shot from Superwap was tipped over by Kiari. Hisham Goig's side worked hard, created a few chances in that first half. Did have more shots than Thailand, more shots on target, more possession. But there is just the one goal in it. A win for Morocco, don't forget, would put them into the knockout stages for the first time they'd never won a game in their previous two FIFA Futsal World Cup finals coming into this with that big victory over the Solomon Islands setting them up here against the side ranked just one place below them in the FIFA rankings Thailand will come out in the second half you can be sure Bakali was on the mark in the first game Kiari there the goalkeeper coming in for his first appearance today making a fine save in that first half. Katawut took a whack on the head early on, but recovered well. So what can Thailand do at the start of the second half? Morocco in the red, kicking from left to right in the second half. Thailand know that they have to come out and get three points here, otherwise it's going to be a knife edge if they could qualify with three points should they win their last game. But the Solomon Islands would have the same aim if both sides go into that final game with zero points. Morocco and Portugal, the two. And this will go head to head in Klaipeda. That was Mohamed with a shot, which wasn't too far away. Came off the outside of his foot rather than catching it cleanly. Well, Masare, the captain, just forced back towards his own goal. That stayed in. It's a long range shot by the Thailand keeper, Catterwood. Just over the top of Kiari's goal. It's a late challenge here on El Mesra, which has brought the first foul of the second half. You just see tussling off the ball with Ronachai. So Ronachai is on a yellow card. If he were to be booked again today, he would miss the final group game.
to El Mesri. Just forced to go off for the moment, so El Masri just comes on for the moment while he makes his way round to the substitution zone on this near side. Already waiting to come back on. It's Bacali, Elayan. Showed when he scored the goal. Bacali again, all the way across to El Masri. He wasn't too far away. He'll go off to be replaced by El Masra. Goals have just moved slightly, so. Just be a brief stoppage. Ronachai. Mohamed. Warrick, Mohamed. It's a threat when he's on the ball, Mohamed. He hasn't got too much support at the moment. That's aimed back towards Warrick. It's away by Bakali. And Jaoud fouled on the line by Mohamed. That will be another foul against Thailand, who did concede their five accumulated fouls in the first period, but didn't transgress after that. So they weren't penalised for that, but they've already conceded two here with just over a minute gone in the second period. <laughs> went down, just being told in no uncertain terms to get back to his feet by Warrett. Now, now in. Ronachai. Just went away from him, picked up by Bacali. Now Mesra. The man lurking at the back post, he might not need him, Bacali. Jaoud. Alayan. Working the ball around nicely with a bit of pace, but Morocco at the moment. That's nicely left for Bacali. Blocked by Ronachai. Morocco's kicking. And they're claiming a foul again by Warrett. Tyler needs to be careful with their discipline at the moment. That wasn't given against Nowin. El Mesra, Bacali, Elayan. He's still got possession. Now Nowin plays it back across his old goal dangerously. Good pressure this from Morocco at the moment. Rassel Fenny's on for Morocco. El Mesra. Shuad. Rassel Fennec. Bacali. Rassel Fennec. Having much more of the ball at the moment, Morocco. Working it. Shuad across and Apawak puts it behind for the corner. They're very much on the back foot at the moment, Thailand at the start of the second period. Bacali, Barit, giving away to Apuat. Oh, Mesra. That'll go all the way through to Katawut. Coach still giving instructions out to the substitutes for when they do manage to come on and play a part in the game. by the keeper to Rassel Fenny. Jurawat. Chris Sada on the chase, he'll keep the ball in play. Yeah. 
Sapua. to go back to their second appearance in 2004 to find the last time Thailand lost their opening two games in a group stage. They were beaten by the Czech Republic and beaten by Brazil before winning against Australia. Didn't make it through to the round of 16 to so the last two editions. They really feel, certainly Kritsada, the captain, feels that they've got what it takes to go one better this year, but at the moment they're not really showing that in terms of results. Russell Fennec. Good block by Apiwa. Morocco kicking. Bumus. Marcel Fene. Bumus in the middle, away by Jirawat. He has scored their only goal of this so far, Jirawat. In that opening game. Against Portugal. Bumas fires wide. Free kick to Morocco. Wait for the whistle is the signal from the referee. Everybody back behind the ball for Thailand. What does Russell Fenny do? Does he try to go for goal? Does he go into Buizan? Little back hill. That was far wide by Bumus. They haven't taken the most of that opportunity, Morocco. They obviously something they'd worked on, but not working for them. Mohammed. El Mesra just allowed the ball to run ahead of him. Now Mohamed on the break, still going. Mohamed, good save, Kiari Kritsada. Thailand's best chance of the second half so far. Mohamed. Now Buri. Buyazan. Ball for the goalkeeper to pick out Rassel Fenny. Thailand win back possession though. Here's the captain, Kritsada. First time we've really seen Mohamed run with the ball at the defenders a moment or so ago. Kritsada. Mohamed. Jirawat. Back into Mohamed. Just blocked off by Barik. Good defending. Allowed it to run through to Kiari. Marcel Fenny. Bumus. Saved by the arm of Catawut. Just had it right place at the right time. Good save by the goalkeeper. He's been in good form. Catawut. So he did have that bang on the head in the first period, which hasn't affected him too much. Buzid. They're trying to make life difficult for Morocco at the moment, Thailand. They're trying to close them down and not give them any great space. Ronachai. 
No in. It's the first time these sides have met in a World Cup finals. The last twice that Morocco have been in the competition, they were with Spain and Iran both times, Azerbaijan and Panama, their other two opponents. Bumus. Buzid. Burit. Hisham Goig knows that 1-0 is a fragile lead for his side. Thailand have shown they've got what it takes in attack. They've won a corner. In fact, it hasn't gone for a corner. It was Kritzada's quick thinking that played the ball into Jetsada. He felt it had taken a deflection, but it's gone wide for Morocco ball. Rassel Fenny. And he just runs out of out of court. Side quickly closed down by Buizan. Six players in the Thailand team play for the Thailand team rather play for Chomburi Blue Wave, who were the, the most one of the most successful sides in Thailand. Side of the captain has won nine Thai league titles and two AFC Futsal Club Championships. He's cutting a frustrated figure at the moment. Rakpol. So Fenny working hard to keep Thailand back in their own half. Going to have to be a little bit more inventive, I think, Thailand, if they're to break through Morocco. Morocco have stood their ground. They've played very well. They've got the lead. It's a, a tough lead to defend, 1-0. But at the moment, they're doing OK. Showed with a goal in that first period, a couple of minutes towards the end of that first period. Now, that is a corner to Thailand. Good block, it was the volley from Warrett. Might get a second opportunity. Jet Sada. Another block. Good defensive work by Morocco. Bouyazan that time. Bodies on the line here. out by the goalkeeper. Alayan was the intended target. Katawut came out. He was very close to the edge of his area than the goalkeeper. Alayan, it was that got the touch on it. Just flicked it away. Jouad. Run a chai. Just gives the ball up and away. So Thailand will have one more match to play. They'll stay here to play the Solomon Islands in their final game in three days' time. Morocco and Portugal, as it stands at the moment, it would be a battle between the two 100% teams. Still time, though, plenty of time. We've still got over half the Second period to go for Thailand to try and get back into this. Oh, it's given away to Ranachai. Can't get it goal. Was Jode back on defensive duty. The man who scored the goal. 
came off Rona Chai. Just the first time, really, the hint of an error from Morocco at the back. Elayan. El Mesra. Save again, Catawood. Good work by Morocco, getting the shot in quickly. Elian with the Moroccan kick in. Tried the same again from the other side, this time from Bakali. It's another kick in to Morocco. Cali force wide but can't keep the ball in play. Futsal in Thailand has grown over the years due to the successes of the, the national team. Gaining popularity all the time. Thai Futsal League is attracting increased attention. We hope to have a new generation of players to call upon his Elayan. Denied again by Katowitz. Keeping Thailand in the game at the moment, Katowut, another shot on the turn from El Mesra. Great save by the goalkeeper, came out, spread himself and got a good hand on that one. Look at the reaction as well. Keeps the game at 1-0 and they're still in it, Thailand at 1. Jirawat, Mohamed, Makali was clever behind him. Elayan. And Mesra given away to Apuat. Mohamed took all the sting out of it, the deflection, and gathered in by Kiari. Elayan almost caught in possession. Here he goes on the return. Too much on it, though, from El Mesra. It's all about margins. Take a little bit off that, and El Mesra and uh, Elayan rather would have been clearing on goal. Katowit trying to feed that down the line for Jetsada. Rappel sign it, and the coach still hoping that his side can come up with something. Just got the ball away in time. He was under a little bit of pressure then from now in. Kritsada. to try and show his experience, wins a free kick. Right in front of the Moroccan bench. Ishan Goig wasn't too impressed that that free kick had been given away. Wasn't much of a touch on Kritsada from El Mesra, but right in front of the referee as well, so free kick to Thailand. Now, have they got a, a training ground routine up their sleeve? Kutsada goes for goal. Comes back of his own player, I think, Jetsada. All the way back to Catawood. Had to release it within the four seconds and was just over hit to Kiari. Oh, 
shimmy by Buyazan. And right across goal, what a chance that was for Rassel Fenny to double Morocco's advantage, and it's not been taken. Great run out of defence by Buyazan. Set himself, just opened up his body, but has just put it wide of the target. What a chance for Morocco. Marcel Fenny with a slight miscontrol and having to concede the kick in to Thailand. Wara. Katawut. Jetsada. Wara. Another foul against Morocco, so they're up to two fouls as well now, the same as their opponents. More importantly, it means that Thailand will have possession of the ball. Kutsada. Jirawat given away to Buyazan. A little bit of a scrappy phase in the game at the moment. Inside the final nine minutes. Mohamed. Still going, Mohamed! Oh, stabbed across goal. He's having his shirt tugged by Burrit. Managed to stay on his feet. Real tussle between those two. He got to the ball first, but Kiari just did enough to come out and make sure that there was nothing to aim at for Mohamed. Good ball bowled out again to Mohamed, right on the edge of the area, that's a free kick. There's going to be a yellow card here, I think, as well for Barit, who was possibly a little bit fortunate a moment or so ago. Right on the edge of the penalty area. Another metre, and that would have been a penalty just outside. Now, what can Thailand do from the set piece? So Kritsada, the captain, is striding back in up to the ball here. Two in the wall in front of Kiari. So difficult to try and find some space when the ball's this close. This is where you have to try and be clever with your movement. Try and move those defenders out the way. So it is Kritsada. Will he go for goal? He does go for goal. Kiari makes the save. Saved by the goalkeeper. Narrowed the angle by being off his line. There's another shot which is deflected from Jirawat. So now Thailand starting to just exert a little bit of pressure here. Kutsada. Oh, it's over the top from Jetsada. Couldn't keep the shot down. Morocco survive another Thailand attack. <laughs> Foul by Mohamed. Alayan, the man fouled. It's a clumsy challenge, it's given possession back to Morocco. It's three fouls each now in the second period. Nicely done by Bakali. Oh, he's gone for the return and... Well, Mesra just played it across to him and he's just out of reach. Just tried to play it back into the path of Bakali. Thailand kicking. 7.59 to go.
Jouad. Still Jouad's goal separates the sides. He's the youngest player in the Morocco side. Jurawat. Pirapat. Ronachai. Mohamed. Turning away from his man. The angle was tight. He just slipped. Mohamed, it's gone out off the Thailand player. Chai's header goes straight out of play. He was just trying to guide that one down the line in Mohammed's direction. Just misplaced with his header. Well, Mesra. Joe. Oh, nicely done. He's got support here. Elayan. Oh, he sliced it horribly wide and Joe. Furious with his teammate for not hitting the target. He was set up on a plate for Elayan. And somehow he's fired it wide. Great play from Jaoud. Got away from Ronachai. And it seemed perfect for Elayan. But in the end, he's missed the target by quite some distance. Mohamed. Jaoud. Well gathered by Katawa. There's a good pace to this game still. And foul on Kritsada. Again, it's the Moroccans' turn to complain once more. And Mesra commits the foul, as he did a moment or so ago on Kritsada. So, Thailand captain wins his side a free kick. Morocco have the four fouls against them now. Warut. El Mesra. El Ayan. to the goalkeeper from Bakali. Positioning perfect there from Katawut. Strong play from Jet Sardi, just shepherding the ball out, although Morocco felt he got a touch on that one, but referee was well placed. Warrett. Jetsada. Warrett again. Kiari makes the save. No one in the middle looking to pick up the pieces. And Morocco will tidy up at the back. Give it away though to Nawin. Jetsada. Now Alian. In on goal, Alian. Denied again and hooked away by Nawin. Well, on the break, Morocco looking to get another goal. It's another good save by Katawut. It's his ninth save of the game so far. He's been in good form again. Bacali. El Mesra. Elayan. Step forward looking for Rassel Fenny. He's just out of reach. Well, the Moroccans are off the bench every time they get a chance because they know a second goal now would put them in a really strong position. Sada. Again, looking to get round the back. Goalkeeper quickly off his line, Kiari. And Thailand kicking right in the corner. Taken by Apuat. Catawood. Now Warasak. 
Morocco away with the ball again, and Bakali. Took a deflection from Bumuzi's shot, which took the pace out of it. Navi. Morocco's kicking. Every second is vital for the Moroccans now, leading by that single goal. Kiari just hammers the ball away to safety. <laughs> A timeout here called by Thailand, so... Rakpul sat it down with a chance to try and plot something for his team with them back in possession of the ball with 4.50 left in the match. They've had some chances in the second half, but still haven't managed to find a way through. เขาได้ว่าให้เกมล้ําเป็นโลเบเรื่อยโลเบเรื่อยเอ้ยมีจังหวะจบมีจังหวะจบขอจบหนึ่งชัวๆเรียกว่าเปล่ายาเล่งย
just when a half chance opens up for Thailand, then the door is firmly shut by Morocco. It's blocked again, it very nearly fell for now it. Marcel Fenny trying to slip it through for El Mesra. Angles tight. Goes right across goal and Katowicz just got a hand on that. Not too sure whether that would have gone in or not, but he stuck out an arm, the goalkeeper. Angle, angle was tight for El Mesra. It may well have crept in had he not got a touch on that Katowicz. So, timeout called by Morocco. Three minutes 13 left in the match. Morocco three minutes and 13 seconds away from a place in the quarterfinals of a FIFA Futsal World Cup for the first time. Never won a game before this year. Then they stand on the verge of a second successive victory and going level on six points with Portugal at the top of the group. It's been a frustrating night again for Thailand. So he knows what he wants his side to do, but they've just been stifled every time by the Moroccan defenders. Katowicz made some fine saves again. Kept his side in this game at 1 0. Will be a Morocco kick in. Cali with the kick in then for Morocco. Gets another chance, it was defended by Nowin. Driven across off the outside of the post and away. Cali went for goal. Sada. Jiro is on as the flying goalkeeper now. He has the goalkeeper's privilege, but also they've got five outfield players on effectively now. Thailand. Sorry, utilised in that first game against Portugal. Superwat. Jiro so we'll wait to come back on when they go back on the defence. Mohamed just can't find an opening at the moment. jirawat has gone forward. Pirapat. Jirawat. He's moving. Jirawat shot high over the top. He'll race away and let Katawut come on. Kicking just over two minutes to go. Going ahead of Dan Jetsada. Warasak. No, Kritsada, rather. This is Jetsada. Giving away just on the edge of the box now. Mohamed. Turn and get a run at goal. Superwat. Jirawat's back on again. The peak goalkeeper jersey. Mohamed. Superwat. Jurawat. Jetsada. They just can't find a space for a shot at the moment. Morocco having to work hard to keep them pegged back. Will it open up, I wonder? Mohamed. Good work by Jurawat again. Pirapat, Superwat. It's good possession from Thailand, but they're not creating anything in terms of openings at the moment. 
Looking to keep their discipline, Morocco. Pirapat, Jirawat, support. Goes behind for a corner. Well, eventually the shot came in, it was defended, but they've won't run a lot of time off the clock. Under a minute to go now. Support. Jetsada. Mohamed gets the shot in just too high. It's agonizing for Thailand at the moment. It's the Moroccan fans that are already starting to celebrate with 47 seconds to go. Support. Jetsada. Mohamed, touched out of play by El Mesra. Every defensive action has been greeted by fist bumps and cheers at the moment from Morocco. Don't forget they'd never won a game until they came here in previous two editions. Beat the Solomon Islands, this was always going to be a tougher proposition. But they've shown their character and shown that they could be real challengers in this. Support, still can't get the shot in. Jetsada stabbed goalwards. Mohamed. That's Sipuwa. Another corner off El Ayan. They're nearly there, Morocco. Is there a grandstand finish for Thailand? Jirawat. Sipuwa. Jirawat! Scores to level things up! And Morocco have conceded their first goal of the competition. And it could be costly. It's a goal that's got Thailand back into the position where they might get a point from this. Still 12 seconds to go, but what character they've shown. Great resilience, great persistence. And finally, they found the breakthrough. Jirawat just finding that little bit of room he hadn't been able to do up to now. And Kiari was beaten for the first time. And with seconds to go, Jirawat gets his second goal of this World Cup and levels things up at 1-1. Great finish as well. El Mesra. So Thailand kicking, I think. Came off El Mesra. Mohamed on the edge of the area, trying to turn as the Houthi goes. It was the last shot of the game from Mohamed. And Morocco. Well, four points could well be enough to put them through, but they've been denied a second victory by that late, late goal. Mohamed there right at the end with a shot on the turn. The long ball forward, he just held off the challenge of Barit. And had he scored then, well, what a turnaround that would have been, but not to be. Kiari's face really says it all. Jaoud put Morocco in front. Jirawat equalised with just seconds left on the clock. Full time in a dramatic game in Group C here in Kaunas. It's finished Thailand 1, Morocco 1. Congratulations everyone for coming here. Well, you can see what it means for the Moroccans. It almost will feel like a defeat, having conceded such a late equaliser. They were on the verge of a place in the round of 16 for the first time ever. But Jirawak popped up with that all-important goal. And they're going to have to wait a little while longer, Morocco. They will. Head off now to play Portugal. Four points could be enough to send them through. There is still second place in the group up for grabs, of course, now that they've dropped points here. It was a brilliant game. It was well fought between these two teams. Costa Rica against Lithuania. ก็ในในครึ่งแรกอ่ะเราจะเห็นได้ว่าเด็กค่อนข้างกดดันแล้วก็เล่นไม่เป็นธรรมชาติแต่ว่าครึ่งหลังก็คือเอ่อพยายาม
เขาโอเคตัดสินใจเล่น3นาทีทำไมเล่นเล่นเล่นช้าไปนิดนึงหรือเปล่าก็จริงๆเราเราเราจะเริ่มเล่นที่5นาทีแหละแต่ว่าณณตอนนั้นเวลาเราเราเล่นเกมลุกแล้วเขาขึ้นมาบีบเราเราไม่ได้มีจังหวะที่จะจะเปลี่ยนเล่นเพราะเพย์มันมันทำให้เราดูแล้วเราสตาร์ตตอน3นาทีแต่ว่าก็ก็ถือว่าสกอร์ทุกสกอร์แล้วก็แต้มทุกแต้มมีมีความสําคัญในฟุตบอลโลกมากครับเยอะคุณอาลคาริบีมีเจ้าหุ่นนกตักพิเศษมันวุ่นวายคือเป็นสิ่งที่จะเล่นอัจฉริยะในมุบาระเราจะนั่นนั่นเล่นมุบาระคีบีระเราไม่ได้ลิขรัชนั่นนักสุดจริบเฟดเฟดมาฮาฟิลเดลียะเอ่อกีบดิลอันสรายน์เอสเอสซีนสัดคณียาอัชรฟสัดลาฮ์ทูอันน่าคันขึ้นน่าวัดชุยดิลดิลนัฟส์ฟิมส์มูอาดิลลาอีบินแต่คุณคิดมาคุณที่ฮัดินนกตักที่จะนั่นนั่นฮะก็จะจัดเต้นเจ้าหุ่นชั่วลาลตัวที่مباراة مقابل أمام منتخب البرتغالي كي تصدر تصدر هذه المجموعة التالية كيف كتشوف هذه المباراة هذه؟ على المنطق محترم في هذه المجموعة البرتغال هو المرشح هو الأول في المجموعة غتكون مباراة قوية كذلك لأن حنا مازال تنقلبوا على التأهيل ديالنا. أقلي <تصفيق> على بعد 12 ثانية كان المنتخب المغربي غيتأهل ثم نهائي كأس العالم، كيفاش دازت أجواء المباراة وكيفاش شاد نتيجة هدف اللي مات ليه؟ الحمد لله كان كنشكر جميع اللاعبين اللي قدموا مباراة كبيرة، كما شفنا بقى 12 ثانية عاد تسجل عندنا الهدف، هذه تجربة عاوتاني جديدة، إن شاء الله باقي لنا مقابلة أمام المنتخب البرتغالي، غندافعوا على الحظوظ ديالنا وإن شاء الله غنتأهلوا للدور الدور الثاني إن شاء الله بإذن الله. ก็เกมนี้ก็ขอชื่นชมมาร์โกที่ที่ทําครึ่งแรกก็ทําให้พวกเราปันป่วนเลยครับคือเราตั้งรับกันไม่ได้เลยเสียไม่ไม่ได้ของบอลเลยอะไรเงี้ยก็มันเป็นการเคลื่อนที่ที่เร็วมากแล้วทําให้เราประกบตัวไม่ทันครับผมก็สำหรับทีมไทยในครึ่งหลังก็ก็รู้สึกอ่าแก้ลามาดีครับที่มาเล่นเล่นกับมาร์โกในครึ่งหลังได้ได้ได้ได้ดีมากเลยครับครับผมโอเคไหมกับหนึ่งแต้มที่ได้ก็ก็ก็โอเคกับหนึ่งแต้มที่ที่ได้วันนี้ครับก็ทุกคนทําเต็มที่แล้วก็ครึ่งหลังเรามีโอกาสยิงเยอะเราเราคิดว่าเราน่าจะได้3แต้มด้วยครับครับผมเฮ้ยมันเป็นเกมที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดีที่สุดในการเล่นที่ดี Just the two yellow cards, one each. So that goal from Jaoud at the end of the first period for a long time looked as if it might give Morocco their second win. But Jurawat Sonwichian popping up right at the end with just seconds to go to make it a dramatic finish and level it up at 1-1. So still all to play for. Morocco still hold on to that elusive second spot at the moment. Portugal are through. Morocco will also go through. Thailand could well go through as one of the best third-place teams. Morocco's goal difference far superior, as you see. The Solomon Islands need to finish with a flourish if they're to stand a chance of progression. So Morocco knew that a victory would put them into the knockout stage for the first time, having won their first game at the weekend. Thailand gave Portugal a good run for their money. They did end up losing by four goals to one, but. Portugal certainly knew they'd been in a game. And it was a really fast-paced game as well. Not much to choose between the sides. Early shot for El Mesra hit the foot of the post and went behind. Katowut was in fine form again for Thailand as he had been in their opening game. Good save that from Rasel Feni, who'd been on the score sheet at the weekend. Thailand didn't have too many opportunities going forward in the first period, but a brilliant save by Kiari to deny Superwat was their best effort of that first half. The only goal of the period came right at the end when the youngest player in the Moroccan team, Yusef Jaou, scored his first goal at the second time of asking Katowit to save the initial effort. Second effort 
dispatched into the net to make it 1-0. So that's the way it was at half-time. Thailand knew they had to come out in the second half and try and get something from the game, knowing that three points might not be enough in their final match. And it was end-to-end -end stuff in the second half. Great run from Mohamed. Didn't see him run at the goalkeeper too much in the match. He was denied on that occasion. Morocco had good chances to wrap it up. Alayan, in particular, with a couple. Denied again, though, on that occasion by Catawood. Good save at the other end by Kiari from Warrant. And then right at the death with the flying goalkeeper on Jirawat. He found space from the corner to curl the ball in and give Thailand an equaliser. With just 12 seconds left on the clock, heartbreak for the Moroccans who were looking for that second win. Delight for Thailand, who could still make it through now to the round of 16. It's a tough game, Futsal. So there are the stats in a, a one-all draw between these two in Group C. So it's a day off for us tomorrow in Cannes. Plenty of action going on elsewhere. They're in Vilnius and Klaipeda. We're back in a couple of days' time with the conclusion of the group stages or the start of the conclusion of the group stages. But from us all here in Kaunas, it's bye for now. เกมนี้เป็นไงบ้างก็เกมนี้ก็ขอชื่นชมมาร์โคทีที่ทําครึ่งแรกก็ทําให้พวกเราปั่นป่วนเลยครับคือเราตั้งรับกันไม่ได้